Okay, so uh, I'm Rob Martin, I'm a professor at, uh, at the university here. So uh, I'm talking about a project, the research project that we're, that we're doing here, which is the teleoperation of uh, aerial vehicles. And uh, one, of the, one of the key blocks to uh, the development of this technology is actually the integration of a vehicle which is doing surveillance or something similar to that with, with a pilot or with, with somebody who's, who's flying the vehicle. And so traditional technology is very much a remote control sort of technology where the level of uh, control is, is very high, the pilot has to be very skilled, has to be very competent, uh, often takes months worth of training. So what we're trying to do is replace that by the sort of system that anybody can fly first time with no, no difficulties and no troubles and provides more information to the pilot. So um, something that you can fly through an environment which where you can't see the vehicle, uh, where you're getting force feedback or some other additional information about what the environment's in through, through your control mechanisms so that you can feel partly the vehicle flying through the area, so you can feel your way through cluttered 3D environments and do search and rescue missions or uh, surveillance missions, a lot of civil infrastructure maintenance and stuff like that. My name's Alex Munn, I'm involved in the fabrication, design and manufacture of various flying components and electronic subsystems. This is a really great project, it's a, it encompasses a whole heap of fields that I've been interested in, uh, electronics, microcontrollers, computing, programming, design, fabrication, uh, using some sort of novel uh, manufacturing techniques using 3D printers and what have you to make the some lightweight and custom flight uh, products. And so generally it's just a really interesting area that's developing quickly and uh, it's pretty exciting to be working in that. So the underlying idea of the work is that we uh, we have a vehicle that's flying, um, that effectively is controlling itself, but it's making no decisions about where it moves. And so then we have a, a joystick system, which uh, the pilot uh, feels uh, reflected force from the environment around the vehicle while it's flying. Uh, the pilot has a video feed where the pilot can actually look at what's going on. And then the pilot applies force to the vehicle, which then trains the vehicles through the environment. As a second sort of level to that, we're actually interested in being able to fly a vehicle in an environment that's far from the user. And uh, to demonstrate that, as, as you do with research, we've chosen an extreme case. So we're actually working with a research group in the Netherlands at the University of Twente. I have a student, Eric, uh, Eric Hoek, hey, uh, hey, hey, who hey, is the primary investigator as, as a PhD student. Uh, in the project and he's developed the system over here and then we're collaborating with this group in the Netherlands who have a system very similar to what we're doing here so he's visiting there for a week and okay, he'll be at there and making sure that they can interface with what we're doing here and uh, they'll actually be controlling the vehicle while we fly it through the, uh, the environment that we've set up here and the underlying motivation is to make it easy to use these to integrate these vehicles into real applications in the real world and the research we're doing now is going to be enabling technology for that the choice to work with the Netherlands is, is a challenge for us. It's to make the problem, in a sense, as difficult as we can make it so that we can verify that the algorithms that we're developing will deal with the issues that you could possibly run into in these sort of situations.